Well, there has been so much tragic news this holiday week. But we do want you to know about something positive and very special that happened during the Bucks game. A sailor was reunited with his children, and News Channel 8's Lindsay Mastis joins us live from the stadium to show us the magical moment. We love these kinds of stories, Lindsay. We really do. Good evening, Stacy and Josh. You know, the Bucks don't do anything like this too often. They said it's been years since they did anything like this. And at the last moment, they even decided to make it the play of the day. I got to know Lieutenant Commander Don Bryant over Twitter, and when he told me what he wanted to do for his kids, I knew this was something we had to share with you. They're a family divided by distance and allegiance. Lieutenant Commander Don Bryant and his three-year-old son, Tristan, are Bucks fans. I've been a Buccaneers fan since I was a little kid, as far back as I can remember. But wife Anna and seven-year-old daughter Ariel, they love the Packers. It's only fitting the kids get to reunite with their dad during this game. I've been in the Navy for 23 years, and I'm a little nervous. His wife is in on the surprise, but his kids think he's still in Afghanistan. He's a combat advisor to the Afghan police, and this time he's been away since August. It just doesn't get easier. It's hard to explain how hard it is day after day not to, not to be there, to see the different moments of their lives pass. After the first quarter, Anna, Tristan, and Ariel are escorted escorted onto the field. Please turn your attention to the video boards for a special holiday message. They think they're seeing a message soul. sent from their dad from overseas. I want to wish you all a happy holidays. I'm sorry I can't be there. We know it's been a long time since you saw your husband and father. So we have one more thing to share with you. Fans, please welcome home Lieutenant Commander Donald You all right? I love you. Kids are in shock. Are you surprised? I love you. I love you too. The family got a standing ovation. Being together, it's the best Christmas present. Even though Brian's hometown team, the Bucks, lose against the Packers, it's still an historic day. The day a couple Packers fans proudly wore Bucks jerseys. Right now, the Bryant family gets to be together, but it's not going to last for long. He does only have a few short weeks here, and then he has to go back to Afghanistan. He's going to be stationed there until next summer, so you can understand just how special this Christmas is going to be for him and his family. Stacy, oh, So touching. Just brings you to tears. I love that the Bucks did that. Thank you for sharing us with us, Lindsay.